Live your passion. You can be anything you want. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. Live your passion. Live your passion. Yeah. Technical and vocational career qualifications are often considered a dead-end street, offering limited prospects for career advancement and growth. Meet Dr. Raimo Nanda, Deputy Executive Director in the Ministry of Higher Education, Training and Innovation, whose story dispels this myth. Not many know that this holder of a doctorate degree in vocational education and training policy started out as just a welder. You can be anything you want to be You can achieve it if you just believe Take you to a place you can be your true self You can live your passion Live your passion Born and raised in Vintuk, Raimo Nanda grew up an active young boy who loved sports, reading and enjoying the outdoors. An alumni of Katatura's Mandume Lower Primary and Namatoni Senior Primary Schools, he completed his secondary education at the Martin Luther High School at Okambahe in Irongo. Life was not easy. As the oldest of 10 siblings, responsibility was thrust on his shoulders from a very young age and often Raimo had to jump out and do his part in supplementing the family's income. Having seen how my parents were struggling, I, I decided to, to take education very, very serious so that I can uh, one day become an independent person to, to look after my family and also to have a decent job. Although his father, who was a qualified tailor himself, harbored ambitions for his son to become a priest, Raimo wanted to become an architect. In the same building where my dad was working, there was an architectural firm uh, where I saw people doing architectural drawings. And I must say, I was so fascinated to see people doing drawings, putting high-rise buildings on paper, and then these drawings are, uh, are realized. And I, I was so fascinated and I said to myself, what I should do one day is to really become an architect. The education realities of pre-independent Namibia, however, shattered the stream. In grade 11, Raimo opted for a more social science subject combination and when he matriculated, his applications for bursaries to pursue university studies were all turned down. During my final year, I, I applied for various, you know, to various universities. Now, while waiting for these opportunities to, to strike, I must say that uh, one day I received a telegram from uh, CDM inviting me to, to go for an interview at Ochivarongo. Without any hesitation, I said, now let me go for this interview. They interviewed me and not uh, long thereafter, I received another telegram informing me that uh, I have uh, landed an apprenticeship opportunity with them. So I came back, I informed my parents, and uh, my parents uh, were very excited that at least I could get an opportunity to further my studies. Uh, I must say that uh, my, my, my dad was not really very impressed for me to, to go to, to Namdev because uh, he wanted me to become a pastor and he was encouraging me to, to complete my school so that I can go to, uh, to Paulinium to, to take up my studies uh, in theology. But as a fate uh, has it, uh, uh, that was not my, my calling. And I decided to, to take up the offer at, uh, at CDM. And he said, no, if that is your choice, please uh, do it. Coincidentally, today I'm, uh, I'm a church elder for our congregations. So and I'm very happy at least that I can serve my, my, my church, I can serve my community in, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that level. 
You can be anything you want You can achieve it if you just believe Take you to a place you can be your true self Live your passion Live your passion, yeah Only three months after arriving at the Consolidated Diamond Mines, forerunner to today's Numdeb, in April 1983, Rymer requested the mines management to consider changing his apprenticeship from fitter and turner to that of boilermaker. This decision was informed by a fascination he had developed with welding and with fabricating and fusing metal parts together. Experiencing the change the apprenticeship brought to his own life, his time at the diamond mine opened the young Rymo's eyes to the self-empowering potential of technical and vocational training in improving the lives of individuals for the better. Recognizing the passion he had developed in mentoring some of his peers and for imparting his technical knowledge to others, he completed his apprenticeship and worked as a boilermaker at CDM's two plant until September 1987 when he returned to the capital for a short stint as a boilermaker at the Vintuk Maschinenfabrik. Now while working at uh, the Vintuk Maschinenfabrik, a friend of mine informed me about the Otto Benike Stiftung. It was uh, an agency from Germany uh, which came to Namibia prior to independence to set up a vocational training center in the country to prepare Namibia with skilled uh, labor force uh, for independence. So I heard about this opportunity and uh, I decided to, to approach them. And I submitted my CV and my qualifications. They invite, invited me for, a, for an interview. And uh, luckily, I got a job as, a, as an instructor in the metal workshop at the then VTCN, Vocational Training Center Namibia which was renamed Vinduk Vocational Training Center. Having devoted the greatest part of his career at the Vinduk VTC, Dr. Nanda, when his busy schedule allows, makes the effort to call on his colleagues at this leading training institution, especially during the national assessment rounds. It is also his opportunity to take up the welding rods again and to polish his trade. This place gives me very good memories. Of course, Sales. it will be, and also when we meet again, that also takes my mind back <laughs> to the days that, that we meet. That, yeah. we, that we were working together yeah, here. That's correct, it was yeah. wonderful times those years. Yeah. I just want to demonstrate the skill, because uh, when, when you learn something, it remains within you and go out, no matter whether you are practicing it or not. And I just want to demonstrate to my young, my young brother here how to do it. Live your passion. You can be anything you want. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. Live your passion, live your passion, yeah. Despite only having an N4 certificate, Rymo's passion and diligence soon landed him a promotion to head of training of the center, overseeing the implementation of the training curriculum in line with quality and industry standards. Driven by the desire to strengthen the center's training programs, while at the same time appreciating he still had a lot to learn about vocational education and training and the effective management thereof, Rymo realized that he had to return to his books. Uh, with my promotions over the years into managerial positions, I, I decided to take up further studies because uh, I realized that uh, the sky was the limit. Now, what I did, I decided to, to enroll for my N5, my N6, at the Polytechnic, Polytechnic Namibia, 
which is now renamed uh, the Namibia University of Science and Technology. Now, I decided to do courses in, in, in management. Now, now, doing courses in management, that's where I realized um, and got the exposure as to educational management. And I must say that uh, when we were working at the Vendor Vocational Training Center, we were really exposed to what TVET is all about. And uh, I'm very fortunate, I must say, that we were sent to countries like Germany at a very, very early stage to understand what vocational training is all about. You know, we were exposed to the German dual system. Uh, the dual system is, is a system that Germany is uh, implementing in terms of vocational training, which encompasses theoretical training at the school and the practical training at the industry. And I must say, this kind of exposure really fascinated me to really have a clear understanding as to what vocational training is all about. And that actually triggered my interest to pursue studies towards um, vocational training. The decision to further his studies proved wise. Soon, opportunity knocked again when the vacancy of institution principal arose. As Mr. Nanda or Dr. Nanda mentioned, I think uh, I've known him for the past almost 20 years. And uh, I think uh, I get him here as a, as a head of training. Then uh, when he moved to this office, I took over the head of training position. Then again, when he, he left this office, I, I, I became uh, the principal uh, of the, the institution. And the current the, the principal word is no longer valid or used, but uh, the center manager took, I mean, came in, uh, in a place. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Nanda, I think uh, he's the developer of this institution. And uh, that means that uh, he, he has WBTC in his mind. And uh, we continue uh, relying of, uh, on him. When I was uh, head of training, I, I decided to do my, my BTEC. Hmm? And uh, my BTEC research was more on vocational training. Now, this was a study that I needed to do on, on Tibet policy. Because at the time, we were, Namibia just got independence, and Namibia was now in the process of reforming the vocational education and training system. Now, I needed to understand and see what kind of policy principles, policy, um, policies should we introduce in the country for us to reform and make uh, vocational training in our country um, what it's supposed to be. I must say one of my recommendations in my dissertation was to establish the, uh, the, the NTA, the Namibia Training Authority. And I'm very happy that government at the time could um, consider that recommendation to establish the, the, the NTA. Also, you know, when I became the principal, I said, no man. Uh, and after having completed my master's, I decided, but I've got a lot to offer. So let me continue and do my, my PhD. So I enrolled at the University of Stellenbosch, and then I, I did a, a study, and this is my PhD thesis, uh, which, I, which I completed. And these documents are quite uh, a source of um, information, um, a lot of information that can help Namibia to, to shape up its vocational education and training system. You know, these documents contribute to the academic discourse uh, in our country pertaining to, to TVET. Live your passion. Despite his groundbreaking academic accomplishments and impressive CV, which includes a stint at the Rhodes Contractor Company as its Corporate Services Manager and Telecom Namibia, where he served for 13 years as Senior Manager, Training and Development, Dr. Raimo Nanda remains a humble artisan at heart. Today, he also serves on the Namibia Training Authority's Board of Directors. 
In his current capacity as Deputy Executive Director in the Higher Education Ministry, he is well positioned to continue his immense contribution to our country's vocational and technical education sector. My overall responsibility as Deputy Executive Director is to support the Executive Director in his uh, normal duties, uh, for him being the accounting officer. I, I must say that um, it's, it's, it's not easy to plan uh, in this office because uh, there are always ad hoc activities that comes up. In the ministry, we have separated the role. Him having the feel and touch of vocational education and training. I have assigned him to focus on developing national policy for TVET, the Technical Vocational Education and Training, understanding and having lift the area of skills development. It's better for him to engage with people. It's better for him to, to, to actually understand the elements of TVET so that when we develop uh, our policies, it comes from people that has lived it. And therefore, the engagement is also very uh, important. If he engage with the players in the field of vocational training, he can speak the same language as the people that are training at the various vocational training centers in the country. So that is actually one of the key elements why we have Dr. Nanda on board. Currently, vocational training is, is seen to be a stream for, for failures and achievers. Uh, a lot of parents do not want to encourage their children to pursue studies towards the field of vocational training, which is, which is very wrong. If you look at uh, industrialized uh, countries, uh, countries like Germany, uh, Korea, China, etc., these countries are investing significantly towards the sector of vocational training. And what those countries are doing also, yeah, they are actually encouraging learners to pursue vocational training as, as opposed to academic uh, education to the extent that 70%, 70% of school leavers actually takes the route of vocational training as compared to academic education. He's not just passionate about the ministry, he's passionate about the development of the country. Therefore, he came from the private sector and joined us in the ministry. So that in itself is not just a thing that you do because you want to uh, grow as an individual. It is other uh, characteristics that drive you to make such moves. And in his case, it is his commitment to the country, you see, to have an impact in the, in the country. And then he sees the importance of a vocational training. So that drive that he has is what is critical for me as his supervisor. You can be anything you want. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. Away from the demands of work, Dr. Nanda appreciates the company of his close knit family. And an avid reader, he grabs the opportunity to unwind by immersing himself in the day's newspapers or a good book or two. We are married for many years. Yeah, 30, as he said, 32 years has been good years and, and, and bad times as well, but the good years overcome the, the, the bad ones. He has spent many hours in his office, the whole evening up to morning hours, reading and studying. So he's a very hardworking person. If he starts something, he will, he, he will put his mind, effort just to finish it. So to accomplish what he has started, he, it takes, you know, he must work hard. He used to work hard. Nowadays, you, you are expected to, to work very smart. You must work very smart and not work hard. So for me, it's, 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 it's more of, 
of a patient, you know, that uh, I need to read, I need to keep abreast with contemporary issues that are happening in the world. Because if I don't read, you know, also your mind start uh, relaxing, you know. So it's very important that I, I keep myself up to date with uh, what is happening around me and uh, what is happening around the world. And that's why I need to spend some time uh, in the office. But I don't really spend time in the office. You might have seen my garden there. You know, me and my wife spend uh, most of our time, free time also, in the garden, you know. Yeah, and if we're not uh, um, at home, we visit uh, family, friends. Under the servant leadership doctrine, a servant leader is defined as someone who enriches the lives of others, builds better institutions and ultimately creates a more just and caring world. Dr. Raimo Nanda is such a leader. Someone who despite his academic accomplishments remains a humble welder at heart. And although he has traded in his overalls and protective gear, he continues his dream for the vocational and technical training sector. He is living his passion. My dream for the TV sector is basically to give hope to the many, many unemployed youth of this country. You know, developed world countries have proven themselves that Tibet can make a difference. And that's particularly because of huge investment into the sector. My dream would be that government also take that approach. Our politicians understand that for us to achieve and attain Vision 2030, is to significantly invest in health and education. If we do not have a healthy nation, this country is not going to go forward. If we do not have an educated nation, this country is not going to go forward. Vision 2030 will be an illusion and therefore I wish that we will develop this Tibet sector to such an extent that we provide hope. We provide hope to the young, unemployed youth there. We have a lot of them roaming the streets without having hope in their life. And we need to provide hope to these people through vocational education and training. You can be anything you want You can achieve it if you just believe Take you to a place you can be your true self Live your passion Live your passion, yeah You can be anything you want You can achieve it if you just believe Take you to a place you can be your true self Live your passion Live your passion